Hey there, everyone! Stop cleaning yourself right here, Spyro, that's weird. Hey there, everyone! This is Al Calvin, Spyro... Spyro Town. Uh, welcome to the land of Spyro. It's Spyro the second one, also. These are all portals that lead to other worlds. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of wondering where the next one. I don't think there's anything down these steps, right? So, we're gonna go through the gate! Uh, we're gonna go inside a level, uh, we're gonna play some Spyro. That's, that's how that works. Yeah, see there's a gate right there. There's a gate in there. And, yeah, those are the two leftover places I got in the old guidebook. So, Robotica Farms. Robot Farms. Uh, we're going right into Windows XP. We're gonna meet Sonic. Finally! After all these years. Uh, finally together. In the same game. Gotta load it, though. Those are beemen. They look kind of gross. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's a robot. I'm very good at determining these things. Due to how this game is written, I have no idea who is meant to be the good or the bad guy. I'm guessing the robots are the good guys, because it's the robot farm. That's where all the food in Avalon has been produced. Oh, greeny beanie. Oh, no kidding. Is, like, were you programmed to have that accent? The giant bug lamp and okay. On so we can zap any more invading pests. Sounds great. Assuming I get claim on all the bug souls. Uh, that's the real reward. And, uh, like, immediately you give me a thing to spit. Really want that gameplay here, and uh, we're gonna have it. Uh, Alright, the little honeycomb thing got in the way. That's pretty good. Here we go. I destroyed that thing, and I am... Okay, oh yeah. So, I... Uh, this is giving me huge Spyro 1 vibe. Like, Spyro Endgame vibe. Uh, what? Can you be burned at the very least? Okay. Alright, joy has been found. Uh, except my familiar isn't here. The giant turnip has been found. Sheep, I need... I need you. you. See, as soon as I destroyed you, my familiar was summoned. It was like, hey! What's going on here? Yeah, it's a giant carrot, but they're robotic. I'm getting mixed messages here about what's going on. Oh, you're just stabbing on nothing, huh? Alright, there you go. So, you're just a pill bug on the ground. And now you're a pill bug on the dead. Oh, I probably need to, like, ground pound you. Alright, you do that. And then you do that. I did it. I have destroyed a giant mechanical creature that was set loose here. Its purposes are unknown. Am I supposed to pound on this? I mean, I can, it just doesn't do anything. Alright, I guess we're gonna be... Well, we probably want to go in the direction of the death barrel that I just witnessed exploding against the carrot. Well, maybe I want to look around down here in the moat. See, there's gems kind of on a precarious edge. It's pretty wild. Then there was that, like, that weird sound effect we just heard. Also, the absolute wildest. Alright, well, that's the ditch. If you want to visit a ditch farm, that'll make the sheep respawn so you can kill it again. It lives to die. That's sad. Uh oh Yeah, I did that wrong. Alright, I forget. Okay, you guys I need to burn. Go. There we go. Through the windmill. Through. Whoa. Hey, you can spin. You're the old spin bug. I love those. They're great in spaghetti. I don't know what that means. Alright, thank you for the gem and that gem. Here we go. Down step! Work and run in a rough circle and break some bases that someone just left there. But I don't know about farm planning and I'm not gonna pretend to know. So I'm gonna assume someone somewhere knows what they're doing. I thought it were barrels barreling down there, but there wasn't. Go here and go on this this invisible force field. So why is there that weird stretch of land that goes there? Fun? It's very fun. All right, you got a bot. You cannot burn a robot, except for the other robot I had to burn. Yeah, I'm getting mixed messages on how you're supposed to deal with these a lot. Like I get confused a lot. Destroy everything! All right, there's a sheep over there. Maybe I'm interested. I don't know. I don't know the place very well. Because I could also just go up here and do up here type of things. 
All right, well, there's a Zoe, so definitely. Yay, Zoe. All right, now, there's that guy. I guess I'm gonna go here and slowly load up and go like, oh my gosh, violence happened. Meanwhile, I also was the subject of violence. Maybe that's just a nice and quick way to heal back up. Because I just got zoe after all. Eh, there you go. Give me another honeycomb, please. Robot soul. Someone took the time to put a soul in all those robots. I'm sure they have their reasons. Alright, there we go. They make better produce. Okay, especially robot bees. Alright, well, there's something going on there. Oh, man, look at that. Mini pud robot. Whoa. Uh -oh. I messed up. I messed up. You know what? Maybe there's stuff down here. I realize I'm here. Yes, like that sheep, for example. Very interested in that. Hey, come on, buddy. Whoa. Yeah, no, I missed. I can hear him bop. Well, I don't know where you are anymore. Where's my little sheep friend? How am I going to sleep at night knowing that a sheep is still alive? That's, this is getting too dark. Spyro is having an effect on my psyche. I'm getting too much in character here. Alright, destroy, destroy. My leap. My kind of my leap. Seasonable leap. What are these? I mean, just big old capsule. Where you store your grain when you're done with it. Alright, so, yeah. Like, there's clearly a counterweight thing going on. I just don't really know how I'd use that. Alright, well anyways, uh, this is where I... Oh, okay, there we go. That guy had fun, and he's gonna have even more fun once I miss. Yeah, good times. So yeah, these look in are in feel impossible to fight because you're not supposed to, basically. I saw that water flicker with electricity. Dude, just please be dead. Alright, I'm, like, I don't know, like, it's just, the process of aiming and firing is just so slow. I'm sure I'm just doing things wrong, and that's okay. I do that all the time. And once again, I'm sparkless. What will I do? There's a farmer guy. Yep, he's there. That's that's accurate. Those hey, bugs are Applebee. A joke of my expensive uh, robot scarecrow. Oh. Can you chase him down and flame him, Spyro? What? The scarecrow? Oh, the bug. Okay. Sure. Hey, we get more thieves. Got it. That gameplay is back on the menu. Uh, all right. I guess I want to go here because this is where the electric saucer is happening. But you know, there's like stuff here. That maybe I can get up there. I haven't seen any spell arches yet, which is, like, normally you see them, like, pretty early on in levels. Yeah, I think that's just high enough that you're not supposed to do that. Alright, that's a bug. He's got a dart and everything. Wow. Alright, so he's having fun there, next to the electric water. Like, where else? Ooh, there's, like, a ton of sheep there. That is the sheep zone. Alright, maybe I'm supposed to be sneaky on these guys, and just, I don't have a honeycomb in my mouth. I don't. Okay, that's a problem. I can just sneak past. There we go. Yeah, like, I don't have to destroy that guy in particular. I mean, I, I should, but I don't have to. Wow, your position here is grandiose. It is absolute best position you could hope for when your plan is to just send the drum down. Alright, that looks like ye old little farm smasher, you know? You put the thing in it, and then can you ride up? Do you think there's gonna be something up here? Well, there's... it's definitely gonna send me high up. Oh, hey! Look at that! Yeah, missile! Please explode something that I don't like. Ugh, I guess I'm gonna go and get it now. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Is there a sheep inside a box? There sure isn't. I don't want this. Get out of here. But I was just talking about destroying that other guy, so you know what? Like, try and be a little bit reasonable. I cannot promise anything. Alright, so, you there. You gonna hit the carrot? I sure will. I know just enough about the interaction of things. Alright, where's that? Can I get him from this distance? Like, his, his ears aren't even loaded in. I meant his wings, but they're kind of the same thing. If you're an elephant and you're in a Disney movie. Alright, so how about you here? Still no ears visible. See, it's just, it's just it's not worth it. At least it's not worth it to me. I don't want to do it. Sheep Island! Oh, see, there's a scarecrow I'm supposed to set on fire. Alright, I'm gonna do that. 
Yeah, setting you on fire, Scarecrow. I mean, yeah, they're, they're just kind of there. They are not scary at all. I am not scared by the Scarecrow in the slightest. Farmer Fred, uh, just gonna put that out there. Um, what am I doing and why am I here? Well, you go on this little bridge. You go like, whoa, you crossed a bridge. Spyro, you did it. Then you can like do that here. Oh, those are the guys I need to flame up. Okay, I see. So it's not really a, a hunt. It's not the thief challenge at all. It's like, well, it's kind of like very inconvenient. I'm trying to jump, but pressing the button for flames first is pretty good. Eh. Eh. Oh, this is like, this is kind of rough. Whoa! Thumb combination of movements. Because you gotta, gotta go in the air. You gotta be charging. But you gotta be airborne. And, you know, you gotta get the flames of wrath out. I mean, this is just not happening. Ah, Dude! Dude! Okay, there's a new sheep in town. It's fine. Yeah, I got one. Wait a second. Did they revive? Maybe. Maybe they did. Okay, three out of four. You didn't jump because you were gliding! That's just the fact of reality. Oh, yeah, so... Ah, dude, jump when I press the button, though. And now they're all reviving. Oh, this feels not great. Yes! My fields are safe Ugh. from those flying vermin, Spyro. <laughs> okay. This dude I done dug up yesterday. This doodad the Don dug up. That's a fun combination of sounds. Like, I'm gonna be honest with that. I mean, I just... It's just... Uh, it's the big issue I have with this game overall, I feel like, is that a lot of the side stuff just feels so f weirdly fillery. Like, is there a reason? Well, okay, so the reason why they respawn is that, like, that's sort of, like, meant to be the point, I guess. It's like, it's, uh, this is a bad way to do this, but here I am. Is that, you know, it's supposed to be, like, 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 th it's the point that you're able to do it fast enough that they don't respawn. Like, I get it. I don't like the light. I don't have to like it, but I get it. All right, this is going to be new over here. Which I could have had access before. Who's that guy? Is that having fun? You know, he's just kicking barrels. I don't think he's trying to, like, kill me or anything. I think that's just what he does. It's, 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 it's this idea of a good time is kicking that out. So I wonder, the way you're supposed to interact with these, are you supposed to, like, go, like, here, then. Or you just go right here and nothing else? So I was gonna say, you're supposed to go up here and. and, uh, have a souffle. Or, you know, do ye the head bash. But no. So I feel like I need to re explore the past levers earlier in the level. But I mean, I'll be getting back there eventually, regardless. It's all good. Alright, where are we at? What are we doing? We're here. And I'm aiming for this man eventually. There we go. No, yeah, no. Oh, I see. There's an object here. I don't know. Well, I mean, it wasn't there, but it was there in the camera. Camera, not a fan. And you know what? It's true. Cameras are not fans. They're completely different objects. Of science! Head bash versus your spinny. Well, I don't think, like, I actually touched you while you were spinning. Uh, kind of hard to aim that thing. Alright. It's that, uh, like, mid-air pause, which is there for effect. And it is cool. But it is there. Alright, so that's a barrel. Wow. I managed to figure that one out. On my own. Alright, so we're gonna go here, we're gonna mess it up a lot, then we're gonna yeah, go here, then we're gonna mess it up a lot. That's what we're doing. Cannot stay on the strange platform. Why is that? I don't know. I just did not want to let me get on it. 
Because I I'm, I'm want to explore... Ah, uh, dude. So I want to know, can I go on this wall? I sure can. Oh, not for very long, though. I got my answer. So what's your deal, this lever? Yeah, so you go up here to play mini pot with this windmill. And then from here, you can go here. Yeah, where that guy is very good at his job. Wow, you're such a good job haver, Mr. Robot Bug. I bet you're really popular with the job having community of insects. Here's Top Zone McCain! Here's the bug zapper, and so in theory, there shouldn't be no more bugs anymore. Varmints? Aren't varmints like rodents? Yes, you can offer me a reward. How nice of you to ask. <laughs> hey, it's orb. There's at least another orb, because I didn't get orb complete. Oh yeah, there's another farmer light right over there, doing things. Alright, well first, I'm gonna run here around the bug zapper, oh man. With that, we ran around a bug zapper, Dan. Alright, I don't know, wait, uh, fart bucket and friends. I just cannot do anything in this game, sometimes it feels like. Alright, so get up here, get up here, let's try that again, it's not hard. Too hard for me, apparently. I find- Dude! Why is this so hard? Am I supposed to use this instead? Maybe. Okay, well, fair enough. Ooh, we're gonna be having ourselves a super fast moment. Also, I made a pot appear somewhere. It's a mystery where, though. Where is that? Well, okay. Well, I'll come back to you, buddy. Now that I know I can just wind boost up to where you're at. It's like a place where you could see the, um, the portal of magic spell. Oh, there it is. There we go. There's a mystery spot. I did it. I found you. That's near the farm. You can see it right there in front of your eyes. And that's probably back because that's how the mystery pots work. Maybe not this time. Uh, next, like, next one of, one of those big things. Like, another one? Oh yeah, there's more of those there. Alright, and a bunch of, like, levers and stuff that I need to do. You know what? Now that I know how these work, I mean, yeah, you're supposed to go, like, up there. Okay. Right, is this where the mystery? Yeah, there it is. Mystery pot! It's here! And now it's next to a not working windmill! There we go, right at the start. Cause that's always how it goes. Mystery pot! Misterized! Oh wait, you can just go there. Like, through here. My flight. Ooh, I'm probably gonna be supercharging through these paths. So I probably would have gone these pots just through the supercharge something we're gonna do. There's a big old ramp set up there. It's very subtle. <laughs> okay. Alright, I don't know where it wants me to go, or do, or what, but we're gonna find out! Alright, and I'm right here, too. Alright, going where I'm supposed to! Barleycorn. But some fool robot blocked the path. What a foolish you robot! Think you could knock him down with a bit of a supercharge? That's what I'm here for! Four star difficulty! They all look the same, but you were all probably just built at the same place. What a thought. Alright, well, supercharge time. Ugh! Super winding path time, like just from the start. Oh, this feels super uncomfortable. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. Good start, by the way. Yo! Well, okay, I'm gonna have to go back for those! Dang it! I wanna go back for these gems that I just kinda drop. So I'm gonna run here, it's gonna be like whoosh. Yeah, and these these barrels here. Yeah, and then you're gonna go here, you're gonna go like super giant flights. 
and go here and smash this giant pumpkin that exists. And from there, I'm gonna smash this other pumpkin. Might as well, like, do the work to get the pots out. Yeah, that leads there to where I've already been. Ah, oh, jeez. So there's gonna be- there's more gems and stuff I'm missing still. So we do a whole cycle around, though. Okay. Uh, I don't know where to pass this. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, I'm good. Sometimes I feel like... Ah, oh, no. Sometimes I feel like they wanted to actually make a driving game. But they were stuck with a dragon game. Okay. So I failed here last time. Well, and I failed here just slightly for... Okay, see, that removes a, a stress point, though, knowing that I got all the gems. Well, I don't know what happened there, but it sure did. Oh shoot, no, I, I messed up. There we go. Jump here, yeah! A fine piece of steering that was. Like, driving. you control some time, I would thing, argue, Jake, I too tightly. Ah, uh, but it's fine though. Like, it's really fun, it's just you have to accept that you're gonna restart a few times. Like, I feel like I spent way more time returning here than the actual driving challenge, but it's fine. I got to break some pumpkins. Like, that is basically a reward. Whoops, in and of itself. Press the wrong button somehow. And we're done on the robot farm. I like this place. Again, I just... It's the bug farm one. That one just felt weird. But the pumpkin race was just great. I like the levers, even if nothing much is done with them. Wait, you released them? You want them here? Oh, you're just torturing animals. Okay. That's, um... See, I feel like once upon a time, when I was in this game's maybe closer to its age target, I think I would have found that kind of thing funny, but as a grown adult, I look at that and I just think, yeah, that's very needlessly cruel there, farmers. Thanks. That's a reward.